Switch Port Analyzer, Span, and Remote Span, our span features are used to copy or mirror the traffic from one interface, the source interface, and direct this copy to another port called the destination port. When destination and source ports are connected to the same switch, you use span. If the destination port is connected to the remote switch, you use R span. Traffic is carried over a special VLAN called an R span VLAN. This VLAN does not carry network traffic, only mirrored traffic. R-SPAN allows you to monitor traffic from source ports distributed over multiple switches. This is commonly used when monitoring network traffic is required, such as for an intrusion detection system. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure R-SPAN on both local and remote Cisco business switches. I've connected two switches. SW1 and SW2. On SW1, I have connected a network device to port 1. That device will generate traffic. This traffic will be mirrored. On SW2, I connected the Traffic Analyzer tool to port 16. In this example, I'll use Wireshark. Starting with SW1, select Advanced Display Mode. To configure our span, you need to create a special VLAN that will carry only mirrored traffic named RSPAN VLAN. Open VLAN Management and then VLAN Settings. Click the plus sign to add a VLAN. I will create VLAN 13 and call it RSPAN. Then under Status and Statistics, Span and RSPAN, and then RSPAN VLAN, I'll select VLAN 13 from the drop-down menu. When you're set, click Apply. The next step is to configure the destination to where you want to direct mirrored traffic. Open Session Destinations under the same span and R span and add a new session. In this example, the destination type is the remote VLAN, VLAN 13. Next, select the reflector port. This is a physical switch port through which mirrored traffic will pass to the remote switch. This port must be connected or provide access to the remote switch. I'll select port 2, as it is connected physically to switch 2. A very important requirement is that the reflector port cannot be a member of the RSPAN VLAN, otherwise you'll receive an error. If you receive this error, return to VLAN Management and Port to VLAN Membership to deny RSPAN VLAN 13 on port 2. Select user-defined tagged VLANs and add all other VLANs except VLAN 13. Return to status and statistics and then session destinations. Select destination type remote VLAN, VLAN 13, and select the reflector port from the drop-down menu, port two. Click apply and the configuration will be accepted by the switch. Now, under session sources, it's time to configure the source of the mirrored traffic. Click the plus sign to add a new source. The source and destination need to have the same session IDs. In my example, the source interface is port 1. You can select three options for the traffic you want to monitor. The first option is for both incoming and outgoing traffic from port 1, RX and TX. The second option is for only incoming traffic on port 1, RX. The last option is for outgoing traffic from port 1, TX. In this example, I'll select both RX and TX. Now, with these settings, all traffic passing through port 1 is copied and carried over RSPAN VLAN 13 through reflector port 2. Moving along, you'll need some configurations on the remote switch. In my example, this is SW2. On this switch, I'll also create an RSPAN VLAN with the same ID of 13. Navigate to VLAN Management and then VLAN Settings to create the VLAN 13. Then go to Status and Statistics, RSPAN VLAN, and again, select VLAN 13 from the drop-down menu. Under Session Destinations, click the plus icon to create a new session. I'll select Local Interface as the destination type since I have connected the traffic analyzer to the local port of SW2. Select the physical port where the traffic analyzer is connected. For me, that's port 15. 
Select the Network Traffic Enable checkbox so that you can use this port as a network port as well. Click Apply to save the settings. Go to Session Sources to add a new session. Again, make sure to use the same session and destination session you created earlier. The source interface must be the remote VLAN, VLAN 13 for me. Click Apply and you should be set. Great, now RSpan is configured to carry traffic on both switches. To confirm this, use a packet capture tool like Wireshark to verify that mirrored traffic is reaching it. To distinguish the mirrored traffic coming over the RSpan from the actual network traffic passing through the port, you filter packets to show only those generated by the device connected to SW port 1. You can see the actual traffic that is copied and carried by RSpan. There you have it. RSpan has been configured and verified on both your local and remote Cisco business switches. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.